Hey YouTube, I'm Commando. I'm Redbeard. And today we're going to be showing you guys how to do a spring tree trap that works as an automatic fishing catch. Um, you might be wondering why we're wearing the gloves here for something this simple. But basically we're trying to do a glove comparison between what I'm wearing here, which is the Hex Armor Chrome Series. I got the Freak Tactical Series. And we're just trying to kind of see which one's going to be better. Those are more of a tactical glove. These are more of a bushcraft glove. And we're kind of see if which one's going to work out the best so over the next week month two whatever it comes out to be uh we'll give you guys a review and let you know how these things hold up all right let's get to it okay so the materials we're going to need today is we're going to need two sticks one for your anchor one for your toggle and you're also going to need some kind of cordage today we're going to be using 550 and you can also have fishing line going onto your 550 since we're going to be doing a fishing trap but we'll just be using one of the strings out of our 550 so. Right. Okay guys, so what we've got here is we've got our two toggle pieces cut. You can see that the the one, how they've got these these kind of like real sharp edges on them. And if you turn it sideways, you can, hopefully you guys can see that. And then show how they interlock there. And they just, as that pulls, this pulls up from the rope trap. And you guys will see how this works. Okay guys, so what we have here, what the next thing is you're going to need, you're going to need to be along the edge of your lake or your stream uh, whatever it is wherever you're going to be catching your fish at and try to find yourself a springy tree uh, you could use a counterweight measure if you can't find a springy tree we'll talk about that later but what you want to do is bring when you tie it onto the end of the tree you want to the, your anchor stick once he finds the branch that we're going to use that's where you want to place your anchor at the bottom of it right below it so that it's kind of right in line with the rope yeah so that the toggle pulls straight up against the anchor stick all right so once you have your trap and it's been set it's really re it's really easy to empty your trap take your fish off and then set your trap again All right, now it's set. I can add more bait to my hooks on my line again. And I toss it in the pond and I wait for the fish. Okay guys, so what we got here is we got our, our spring uh, tree trap and we've got it set up with the toggle. We got the lead line running out to the pond or your stream or whatever it is that you would have. I've just uh, used a makeshift piece of wood as a bobber. And then you can, I'm using the, the whole bunch of the 550 current cord just so it's a little easier to see. But you just you could just use one strand out of here for the fish line in the emergency. So it just floats on top like this. Fish comes along, grabs the bait, bites, starts to go, grabs it, and catches your fish. And then as it tries to take off, it just sits there and it wears itself out from pulling back and forth on the tree branch. 